Oh, no, oh, it's an a, isopod. Yep. Oh, wow. It's a what is that? Giant isopod. Is that like a hard almond type shell, or is that? Yeah, they have uh, these these plates on their back. Is that one of those ultra ancient things that's Zoom been around for a few yeah. hundred million halfway. years or something? Yeah, they've probably been around for a while. Away. That's uh, looks like Bathynomus, the thing that nightmares are made out of. <laughs> they are pretty scary looking. If they you look on the underside, at least, yeah. If you Google giant isopod, you can see what they look like on the underside. They look positively alien, but they're really just giant pill bugs. Yeah, we get little bugs like that in Australia under rocks that are, you know, maybe a half a centimeter long or something. Do you get them too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're called different things in different parts of the country. I grew up calling them roly polies. Oh, yeah, they roll up in the ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We call them slaters. What do you call them? Slaters. Slaters? Yeah. Huh? I feel like there's a story behind that. <laughs> well, they look kind of like they made a slate. I might drop a target for that, Steve. Can you spell it for me? Sure. Something I can type in the next 10 minutes would be good. Okay. Oh, that's a long word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you could just write giant isopod. Uh, I-S-O-P-O-D. Do you know what the larger range of, the range of their size is, Steve? Um, not exactly, but I know the ones I've seen are a foot, foot and a half long. That's probably about what that one is, right? Yeah, probably about that. So we're currently at a depth of uh, 845 meters, continuing to uh, survey around this submarine canyon feature right off the coast of Haiti. We've got an another name for our land bugs. Uh, one of our viewers in New Jersey says that she calls them water bugs.